Mount Union Pleasant Valley Cemetery, Chillicothe, Ohio, known locally as Elizabeth's Grave. This small cemetery sits on a little over an acre land with buried loved ones dating as far back as the Revolutionary War. There is not much left of this peaceful location where once stood a church house that no longer resides, just old foundation blocks left of its remains. As for the cemetery, recorded to have been at least 200 to 250 bodies buried there before its time of decay. A lot of the markers and headstones have been piled in the back left corner. Not many headstones are left standing. Over the years, the cemetery has been vandalized by locals who come back to the graveyard for only one purpose, that we are here today, and that's to see Elizabeth. There are two local folklores about Elizabeth and how she came to her last days in this world. One speak of a grieving Elizabeth whose husband had passed, and not being able to handle her loss, Elizabeth then hung herself from the massive tree that resides in the cemetery. Another speaks of Elizabeth's husband, who had passed away and owed a great deal of money to some of the locals, and for that, they hung Elizabeth for his debt. Elizabeth is the only name locals know her by. Searching records and newspapers, we were unable to dig up a hanging that occurred there of a woman named Elizabeth, nor any hanging of that matter. But that doesn't take from the 50 years of folklore. People who have been out to this location to meet Elizabeth have stories from seeing a woman hanging in a tree and walking amongst the graveyard. Reports of being touched, clothes being pulled, and the sense of being watched or unwanted are all that had come out of this location. AJ, trying to speak with us tonight. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You good? She made her last time whenever we went and got something. Oh, that's not that bad out. Was... Oh. It's not that bad out tonight. All these broken tombstones. I want to still need to get some. We need to get some water and spray bottle. I got a bottle and we have to bring it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I got a little bottle. That way we can spray tunes, that way we can see, or starting to see what some of them say. Yeah, I was fixing that up the next day. So out here is the tree right here that Elizabeth was hung from. You wanna fuck around with it? Oh, never mind, you got the code on. Oh, look. So, too far away to catch it still. This is the tree. <laughs> Dio and Reese haven't been out here yet, so. Mm -hmm. Anyone like to speak with us tonight? Came a long way to see you. Elizabeth, are you here? I think we should uh, probably go ahead and turn this uh, spirit box on and see what we can get going. It's a nice night out tonight. It's quiet, no wind. 
my running's probably going to be pretty off if anything happens because of my ankle. It's us again, Elizabeth. Came back to see if there's any more activity that's happened since last time we were here. My name is Nate. It's okay if you'd like to communicate with us. That's what we came here for. Let's go ahead and get this baby going. Um, right, right there is the right. Too fast. I have given you the means to communicate. Is there anything you'd like to say with us here? Are you yeah. here with us, Elizabeth? Still might be a little too fast. Yeah. Oops. Don't mean to do that. I can't see what's happening. Who's Okay, we need a pull. Is that you trying to communicate with us? We were here last time, do you remember? You have a little sound, that sounds right. Why don't you come over here and meet my friend? Is there anything anybody would like to say to us? Say my name, Nick. Head towards the grave. Towards the back. All right, y'all. Let's go back to this back corner. Tell me if you don't feel anything back here.
while I'm walking. What are you trying to say to me? Bro, if this thing starts going crazy as we get back closer to those grades, it's going to be nuts. Would anyone like to communicate with us tonight? We're not here to harm you. Make sure I walk on the grave right there. Okay. Are you the one that's buried here? Is there anything you would like to say to me? Are you humming? Are you humming? Huh, Chad? What? Are you humming? No. It's coming from over here. Where? I don't know, it's coming to my right, on uh, my left. Yeah, I heard from over here. That was humming behind me. That wasn't coming from this. I heard humming behind me. So over here, look, Dio. Yeah, Back here is where they, just, they throw all those great stuff. So... <laughs> Why he goes and drains his lizard, I guess. We'll continue with the walk around. Not you. What? Can you say that again? I said fear. Free your I said free. Was that you talking to me just now? I heard fear through the headphones. Could you let me know again? Did you say fear or free? Shine your light that way. Who's got the big spotlight? It's uh, in the car. Oh. <laughs> Is that you speaking to me just now? Yes. I just heard that. It's alright for you to talk with us. I never really had a chance to come back here with the spirit box, have I? 
to communicate with you. To hear your side of the story. And what really happened with your gravestone. Was it kids? Did kids throw your gravestones back here? Was it adult? What's that? I said we got some kind of answer. Don't forget about your mute button. It's answering. It's answering. Can you answer us now? Now that the device isn't on? I give you permission to draw energy from any one of the three vices in my hand. Can you make my EMF meter go off? When you get close to it, it makes a noise like this. Can you come and uh, make this meter go off? Would it be better if I turn back on the device so you can talk with me? Is that better? Again, I give you permission to draw energy from any one of the three devices in my hand. What? I'm going to start walking back because I don't want to grab our shit. If something crazy. These people come back and vandalize. Let me know if they do.